for Magic Kingdom on Thanksgiving. We had our lovely Thanksgiving lunch at T-Rex Cafe and we went and dropped everything off at our resort at the Caribbean Beach. We just got through security and we're going through the gates. Nothing better than spending Thanksgiving at Disney. Actually, there's nothing better than spending any holiday at Disney or any day for that matter. But especially Thanksgiving because then I don't have to do any of the work. No cooking, no cleaning, nothing. This is awesome. I love actually being at Disney parks during any of the holidays. I think it's awesome. I think we've pretty much been here for all the holidays at some point or another. All right, we just got a locker. We threw our jackets in there. And let's see if there's a, am I seeing a flash parade? I can hear something, let me see. It might be another Christmas flash parade or just music. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like the flash ray. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's going away. We just missed it. That's okay. They'll flash parade it again. We are at Magic Kingdom on Thanksgiving. Best place to be. So I'm noticing that um, with the, uh, Magic Kingdom not being at full capacity, you can see a difference. I mean, this whole area here, normally, this sidewalk would be packed. And even in front of me, Typically, especially on a holiday, like this Thanksgiving, it would be more packed. I wouldn't have all this space. I'd have to be maneuvering or just going really slow behind people. But there are a lot of empty spaces that normally I don't see. I don't see all these empty spaces typically. So it is noticeable. Um, and I think right now, I think it's at 35% capacity. I don't know if they raised it since we got here. They might have. Last I checked, last week I think, they said it was 35% capacity. So the um, Disney photographers are out and you can get your picture taken. And we, we have the memory maker automatically being DVC members. Um, I mean, we bought our annual passes through DVC and when you do that, you autom automatically have the memory maker as part of the package. And typically I'm pulling the guys left and right all over the place to get pictures because I love to have lots of pictures. I noticed that I'm not really doing that as much on this trip because I honestly don't want pictures with masks, with us like wearing masks on half of our face. To me, that's not really a picture I'd like to keep. And that's just me. Other people don't seem to care and that's fine. I personally don't really want pictures of my family and I with masks. It just is not a pleasant thing. So I've noticed that I'm just kind of not really using our memory maker that much. Except for when we're on the rides and it automatically takes a video of you or it automatically takes a picture. That's gonna go into our memory maker, which is fine. And uh, other than that, I'm kind of not really into the pictures right now. I just, you know, I'm enjoying the moment. I just like being here, so that's fine. So here behind me also, See all that space? That's a lot of space. It's just the entrance of Tomorrowland. And usually the, you don't see all that all that much gap when you're walking. In this area, usually it's like a, a human log jam here. Unfortunately, one of our favorite rides, the People Mover, is not moving. There was a sign out in front of where you would go up into the People Mover saying that it's down for refurbishment. So that's another bummer. Hopefully it'll be open when we come back in a few months. Alright, welcome to Scott Ryan's vlogging. I'm going to take you on an adventure that you'll never forget. We're going to explore things that most people don't go and explore. First I will take you into the third stall of the bathroom. I will show you things that's going to blow your mind. Right now we're in line for Space Mountain. It's a long line. It's outside. It's going to take a while to get to space. I don't know why they call it Space Mountain because there's no mountains in space. What do you think about that? I've never been to space myself. The only thing I know about space is like the movie Aliens and stuff. So I didn't see any mountains there, but I don't know. Wait a minute. Star Wars is in space. They have mountains. They do have mountains in Star Wars. 
Yes. Nicholas, you're a Star Wars uh, genius here. Which of the planets have mountains in Star Wars? A lot. Name some. Tatooine. There we go. What else? Andorra. Uh-huh. Taco Donna. See you look. Talk. You want more? No, it's all right. So see, that's an example of all the mountains we have in space. So there is, in fact, Scott, there are, in fact, mountains in space. So I just proved my son's a nerd because he knows all that. <laughs> he knows this. <laughs> I'll tell you what I know. Not much. <laughs> da -da -da -da. And as you walk through that hallway, after you get off of Space Mountain, you come out into a, you guessed it, a gift shop. Ooh, looks like they might have found something. Nicholas has been looking for some cool Mandalorian stuff, but he hasn't found anything he likes yet. What? The That's child? For girls. Yeah. This one's the walking and talking one. Oh, wow. Ooh, it feels weird. Oh, boy. You can own your own I like a little small, tiny one. I don't want a big, giant thing in the house. It's like a little backpacky thing, though. This is the more realistic size one. Yeah, this would be, yeah. That He's a little cutie. Hi, cutie. I'm gonna name him Frank. I'm gonna name him Squishy, and he shall be my Squishy. So typically, they have dance parties right here. They have the characters like on stage, and they come down and dance with everybody. And this whole area at in the evening time becomes like a dance party and a show. But now, they I guess they just have characters coming out, and you can take pictures from afar. So there's Santa Stitch. Hi Stitch! Happy Thanksgiving! We have been going all around the Magic Kingdom looking for churros because Nicholas and Scott have been dying for churros and usually there are way more stands like churro stands around the park and we have not been able to find one until we finally came into Fantasyland and we found a churro stand right here at Storybook Circus. It's right in front of the Dumbo ride. So if anyone is looking for churros and you can't find them, this is where it is. So they're gonna get that. I'm not gonna get a churro because I don't like churros. I know. It's crazy but I don't. Alright, so they're getting their churros. I am taking Scott's scooter, borrowing it to go to Starbucks because my back pain seems to kick in mostly in the evening after a long day of walking. interactive line that they usually have unfortunately is off limits so that's a, that's a bummer there the interactive part of it is really fun for for little ones I really like it when they have theming in the line so it's not boring just standing there trying to you know just waiting to, for your turn so here usually the carrots are popping up and down and the vegetables and all that um, the kids can go stand there and it's interactive to make things happen and usually the kids can run around and play with all of these things here, all kinds of stuff to keep them occupied until it's time for our ride. This whole thing, Nicholas used to play on this all the time. Wasn't that the bees, Nicholas? The bees? And that's not available right now. It does take the magic out. I mean, let's be honest. You, you take all this stuff away. Well, I'm super happy to be here, but... It does take the magic away. We can't we can't sugarcoat that it doesn't take all the magic away, it takes part of the magic away. And that's just a fact. <laughs> it just does. 
but the fact that we can still be here and just have to sacrifice some of this for a while, that's okay, as long as it's a short while, then uh, we'll be good. It's almost our turn to go on Winnie the Pooh. That one's ours. Yay! Whoops, this thing's moving me down. Yay! Here we go. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. One day, Hungry Lake Wood, the East Wind traded places with the West Wind. He'll never reach that tree. Sleeping Pooh Bear. That's cute. That's a sleeping Pooh Bear. I have a sleeping Snoopy. Not. I do not have a sleeping Pooh. No, he has his sleeping cap on, but he's not sleeping yet. Uh, potato, potato. Potato. <laughs> it's a Christmas stocking. Very cool. Hey guys! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Woo woo! That's the Pinocchio restaurant up there that I was telling you guys about. You can sit at those tables if they're available, and usually they have little signs you can hold up to say, you know, hello or whatever, or wave, or all kinds of little, you know, greetings to the people here in the boat. 
So it's fun to get those tables at the Pinocchio restaurant. I love the can can girls from France. They always say, Ooh la la! <laughs> Ooh la la! Oh, there's a little French poodle right there. Woo! Okay, so the Hawaii, the Hawaii one in um, Disneyland has Lilo and Stitch. Lilo, I believe, is on the and Greg Brady. And well, Greg Brady is right there. The one that that character right there, he looks like Greg Brady when they went to Hawaii on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Only the people from my generation would understand what I'm talking about. But uh, see, there's no Lilo and Stitch here. In fact, the one in Disneyland has all kinds of Disney characters incorporated into the different countries. The characters that are from that country, but they don't have. I mean, so far I've not seen that here. Like they have like Woody and Jesse in in the United States and you know Lilo and Stitch. See there's doesn't that look like Greg Brady in that perm that Greg had in the Brady Bunch? When they went to Hawaii? Anyone remember that? That looks like him. And that could be that necklace that he found that caused all the bad luck. Okay, so does anyone else think that when you get to this part of it and it's like this in Disneyland too? When everything turns like white, does it look like the kids went to heaven? Because it's, it's still all the different countries, like, you know, there's all the, they're all the, like, the, there's Africa, which is a continent, not a country, but, you know, usually I think I remember um, the French Can Can girls are here. I don't know if they're here, I forgot, but I know that they're in the Disneyland one. But it looks like once you leave that area back there, and then you come to this area, Everything's kind of like white and like pale blue. It just kind of looks like, see there's like Hawaii. It just looks like all the kids died and went to heaven. Is that what, is that what the storyline is? Cause anyone else think that it looks like everyone is in heaven now? I don't know, it just seems, it just seems weird. I think that's what it is. I think we're now in heaven. We're in, it's a small world heaven. And all the kids are like in white and like, and the pale blue kind of looks ghostly. So it's kind of like we were in like ghostly, it's a small world to heaven. See, there's a can, there's, there's a French girls. But now they look, they look ghostly. They're all like in white outfits, you know, there's like pale blue. They kind of remind me of like the, um, you know, in the Halloween Booty Parade where they have all the ballroom dancers from the Haunted Mansion dancing. They're kind of all in like these light grays and blues and whites. It's kind of like that. So it kind of gets like a little creepy, you know? Like this part's like the creepy, like, you know, horror movie version or the horror movie extension of It's a Small World. <laughs> this is like, everything was all fun and then something happened and they all went to heaven. I don't know. I don't know what happened. There might be a storyline. I don't know what the storyline is. I'd like to know though. This is very interesting. <laughs> and here we are. Adios. Goodbye. Ciao. Shalom. Namaste. Aloha. I will work in two hard sorting areas you and stuff. This <laughs>
always reminds me of the Disney Cruise. I miss Disney Cruise. It says where all the happiness goes away. <laughs> Poor child. We told her that. Yes, indeed. Poor unfortunate souls. Yes, I do. Thanksgiving is to be at Disney. Thanks for watching Penny on the DL and we'll see you on our next adventure. I'm